By internship here, I mean any ex... Oh, great. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, CME. I am Maria, and if you are new here, welcome. I'm Maria. This is CME. I just said that. And uh, if you're not new here, welcome back, Ocean People. So first of all, uh, I have not posted anything for a while. I've been a bit sick and I still am. My nose is still not totally fine. You might hear a bit in my, a bit in my voice. And today I'm feeling... So yeah, um, I apologize if this transpires through my talking. <laughs> That's it. As you already have probably seen on the title, I'm gonna be talking about my experience in terms of internships. And by internships here, I mean anything, any activity, volunteering, anything that is extracurricular, curriculum, curricular, mm -hmm. curriculum, that um, I did that was not really included uh, in my studies, so something that I did because I just decided I wanted to do it. Without any further ado, let's go down Maria's memory lane, back to when she was 18. Until my second year of university, I never really did anything extracurriculum related to marine biology, I think. The only thing I did regarding my future in marine biology was having relatively good grades and reading about it, and going a lot to the beach, if that counts. <laughs> So it was not until my second year of university that I decided to do something uh, related to marine biology research. The reason for this was during my first year I realized that reading all these textbooks, going to all these lectures and memorizing all this stuff that I forgot one week afterwards was not really showing me what it is to be a marine biologist. So I decided that I wanted to know a bit more of what marine biology is and wh how how do you work in it? Wh what does it mean to work in marine biology? So for that I decided to approach a couple of professors of mine that I liked and that were working on topics that might interest might have interested me a bit. Might have interested me a bit. Sorry. Sorry for my English sometimes. I was lucky enough and they were so kind to allow me to participate in some of their projects. One of the projects I was participating in was about how fish or use intertidal pools. So blah, before you uh, get disconnected, let me explain. Around Lisbon there are a lot of rocky beaches and when the tide is low, there are a lot of pools created because there's a lot of holes in the rocks. So when the tide is low, there's a lot of pools of various sizes that are created in these beaches and then when the tide rises again they are covered with seawater. And there are always a lot of fish in these pools. I mean, if you go to these beaches, there's you always see a bunch of kids. I was one of them going around and checking the fish, looking at the, the shrimps and playing around. It's very cute, very nice. But what this team was doing was they wanted to understand whether these pools were being used as a nursery. So basically whether juveniles or baby fish were in these pools and uh, as a way to protect themselves from any harm that could come to them if, in, if they would have been in the open ocean. So for that I was basically collecting fish from these pools once a month I think it was for two years and um, that was it. So we would go in the morning we would collect fish with the net and put them in the buckets and then bring them to the lab for further processing, identification, and uh, so uh, quantification and so on and so forth. I have my name in two papers coming from this project and I was so happy for this. Um, I think this was, the, these were, one of, one of these papers was the first paper where my name was ever on. And this might not seem like much to you if you are not so familiar with the science, with science and the scientific world, but it is a big deal because papers is how um, science is measured somehow. So it's if you are a very good scientist, you are expected to have a lot of publications and have a lot of papers published. And for someone who is in the beginning of the career, having a paper published is or having your name in the paper is awesome and it was very very cool for me and uh, I was really grateful that I had this chance. This project went on for two years and then at some point I decided I wanted maybe to do a bit more so I contacted another professor and he told me that he was doing, he had this project in mind about creating a lobster database, uh, like commercial lobster database and he asked me if I was interested in helping and I said yeah why not and so 
he, I started working on this database. During my bachelor degree, these were the two projects I was part of. When I, then I started my master's degree in marine ecology and in the first semester I was basically just doing working on projects for courses and working on, for my exams. In the second semester I was in Denmark for an exchange program and uh, there I didn't really do any kind of volunteering or internship. I did a lot of field work but it was always related to courses. I just here I, have, I always chose courses that had field work like if I had the option I would always choose courses with field work so if you have that option and if you want to do field work in the future go for it because I honestly honestly think that it's one of the most important parts if you want to become a field biologist in any kind of way to understand what comes with it there's so much more than just going and snorkeling in the beach so if you have an option to uh, do courses that have field work involved, do them. Even if it does, if, even if you have to maybe take a, one week from your holidays to do it, please do it. It's gonna be worth, 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 worth it. Sorry, let's go back, let's go back. Then when I came back from Denmark, I uh, started working on my, uh, master, my master thesis and this was in, for a period of one year. And during this one year, I was lucky enough to be part of a project of a colleague of mine, for, so his master thesis. A really, really, really cool project. I was working with a really cool specimen, which is called Lebroj de Mediatus. He's a cleaner fish, and they exist normally in coral reefs. And he was one of the lucky guys who went to, uh, who had some field work in Australia, diving to collect these fish and to um, monitor their behavior in in the spot in the environment. But then he brought some fish to Portugal, and we were doing some experiments on on them in behavioral experiments, learning experiments in the aquarium of Lisbon and this was, I think this experiment lasted for basically one year. I was going to the aquarium several times per week, not every week, but I don't really remember exactly how periodically I went throughout the year, but it was quite a lot of work actually, but it was very 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 interesting. And I, there was also a paper coming out, and I also have my name on this paper, and again, I'm so happy for that. It, uh, it was an amazing work, actually. I, I really enjoyed learning about these fish, and I will definitely do a video about them. So, yeah, that was... Regarding projects that I was part of, uh, that were not oblig ob ob mandatory, this was about it. Then besides this, I also did a lot of courses. Statistic courses, so extracurricular curriculum statistics courses. I did a course in the marine mammals because even though my I was a bit crazy for dolphins when I was younger, this passion left like the craziness, but I honestly Whales are just so awesome. Like they are so smart. Well, I just still love them. What can I say? So I did a course in, in uh, marine mammals. I was a volunteer together with a friend of mine in the European Cetacean Conference when it was in Lisbon. I also went to uh, another conference on marine mammals with a friend of mine in Valencia in Spain. I also did a diving course for the open water paddy diving course and I also did a local skippers course. Local skipper course just means that I can pilot any kind of recreational boat until whatever size uh, until a certain distance from port from land and from a port lastly when i delivered my master thesis and i came to vienna um to for two months to learn german because my boyfriend was here and i had a couple of months in between the time when i handed in my master thesis and the day that i was going to defend it so i decided okay i will just go and learn german for a couple of months in Vienna and it's in a lovely city I have a place to stay there so I came and I thought well since I'm here I so I'm this kind of person who cannot not have something to do I have to have things to do I go a bit crazy so I was here I had a German course in the morning and during the week during the afternoon I had nothing to do my boyfriend had classes so I had to do something and um, I decided to look around if there was any kind of group working with marine subjects or marine biology and I found the group where I am currently doing my PhD in, in marine and microbial oceanography and I talked to some people there and I got the possibility to stay work and to work there to do an internship there for those couple of months I was there 
and I liked it. And I'm, I'm still here. This was it uh, in terms of things that extracurricular that I did. I, I uh, what I have to say is, it's really important to be proactive. It's really important to be interested. If you are not interested, uh, I don't know, maybe choose something else. My suggestion is just go for it, talk to people, um, gain experience. If you can have your name in a paper, even better, talk to teach professors whether it's possible or not that you are part of a project where you have you can have your name in a paper of course if you want to have your name of a paper it cannot be just helping this person once and then your name is in a paper no normally if you want to really be part of a project you have to dedicate a bit of more time a bit more time but it's worth it it helps you a lot in your future career it shows that you are a determined person that you are eager to work that you are interested and dynamic and these are things that people will look for when they are employing someone even if you end up not working in science ah this was it guys i talked a lot <laughs> if you're still watching this kudos to you <laughs> do something with your life <laughs> go work ocean people thanks a lot for watching this video if you have something else you want to ask write in the comments below uh i realized that all my that my instagram I, that i had linked all my other videos to my old Instagram so in, in any case someone tried to check it and you couldn't it's because it was wrong so now uh, I have the right account in the description below if you want to just check my other social networks for some reason and uh, yeah if you like the video like it and if you think this can help someone else share it around and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more things and uh, See you in the next video. Bye.